Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I've got your forecast. If you're going to be traveling anywhere across the nation on this Saturday, and it looks like we are going to have it uh, quite warm in the southern states with a lot of readings in the 70s and 80s, Atlanta, for example, Nashville, uh, over to Knoxville, over to Dallas, 82 degrees there. And it looks like to the north, it is finally warming up across the northern states, but the northeast, including Boston, is going to be in the cold corner of the country, only about 35 there today. Here's what's going on as we put the maps into motion here. We can see the clouds beginning to develop uh, over the uh, southern states along the Gulf Coast. There could be some scattered showers and storms. And it looks like right in here, around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, over near Tyler, Texas, that's where there's a risk of uh, some severe weather. Also in the Rocky Mountains and in the, in the southwestern part of the United States, there could be some um, scattered showers and storms, including rain and snow out there. But here's the risk uh, for some severe weather from um, Waco to Dallas to Tyler. That's where there is a slight risk of some severe thunderstorms, but not happening until this evening. The other places over here in the uh, areas of the Rocky Mountains, this is the Rocky Mountain, the Appalachian chain, from Greensboro to Asheville, North Carolina, and over toward Knoxville, where there could be some showers going on there. In terms of uh, delays, certainly there could be some delays this evening around Dallas and Fort Worth. A few other scattered airports in the southwest, but most of the major hubs should be okay there. And a few other airports, smaller airports around here in the Appalachian chain might be interrupted a little bit as we go through the day. But otherwise, that's the way it looks for your uh, airline delays for today. Your travel forecast, uh, Anna Ritis. All right, Barry, thank you. I see a lot of green there, a lot of green around these parts too, because South Boston is getting ready for one of the city's biggest parties. The annual St. Patrick's Day parade will take place tomorrow. But because of this week's nor'easter, the parade route has been shortened. Boston police plan to have extra officers on hand to keep crowds orderly. And officers will also be keeping an eye on bars to ensure there is no excessive drinking. A big change coming to this year's Boston Marathon. 67-year-old Jack LeDuc, the man who painted the starting line for nearly four decades, is retiring. In 1981, Jack volunteered to paint the line, which up until then had been a simple white stripe. He came up with his own designs for years, but now the Boston Athletic Association selects a design that matches the finish line. Someone new will paint the line for this year's race on April 16th. For news and weather updates anytime, head to CBSBoston.com. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a good day.